Top of the morning, guys. Y'all already know what's up. You with All your right. boy City Night. Got Ricky in the front with yeah, Lisa. Guys, baby, no and we brought a special guest today, Vigo. Yes. yes, sir. Go and get at you when we get down in the water and show you what we working with. See that beautiful sunrise early in the morning. All right, guys. Got it? Got it? Yeah. Got it? Yeah. All right. Good to go, boys. Shoo! We are in the water on the little pecan right here, you know? So from here on out, it was about 15 minute ride up North Stream. As we riding up north, we're actually looking for location to spot where we can fish for crawfish or if there's any crawfish. So pretty much Shoot! we're like scouting left, right, looking for water. a location where we can dock the boat and start dropping bait. So stay tuned for some live action crawl that fishing. Okay guys, if you're out in this water, make sure you always have your life jacket on. You may never know what could happen, you know, riding around these canals, especially when there's a lot of logs sticking out the water and a lot of sandbag. You know, make sure you always have it on. There's an island here too. Oh, there's a little island right there. Show you guys what we got over here. Looking up next one. I got one, two, three, four, six. Here. We're trying to make some more so I can have like 10 line out. Right, here we go, Vivo. Look at what we got. Alright. He's tugging. 
Oh, he's tugging, Vivo. Look at this. Oh, my God, Vivo. Oh, my God. Two of them got away, Rick. Look at this. Look at this monster. Huh? Look at this, Rick. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is, let me, let me get this out. This is, this is more than palm size. Look at that guy. Look at my hand. Look at that. Jeez. That's the one. Just make the bait, Rick, and I'll just start plugging them. That one right there is gonna have a lot. See that picture? Oh, Rick is back. Nobody's been there. All the quad has been deep here. Deep with that. No, I don't know. I'm trying to spot you. The spot you had over there, Rick, is good. The one on the other side. Update, guys. We've been here for about like, like a, almost two hour, hour and a half. Uh, we forgot the water in the truck because we was in a rush. Our fault. Uh, we got to go back and get it. But, but we did grab a good haul within that almost two hours. You see that? This is a big white cooler here. It's at least six bucket in here, at least. That's we're gonna have a family feast. Like lay everything on the table. We're gonna just put corn. Potatoes, chopped sausage. We're, we're gonna get down today. It's gonna be a good day of eating for a Saturday. We're trying to get out of here by 12 1 because it's gonna get to 104. We gotta beat this heat. But uh, catch you guys soon. Update you guys later. All oh, action time, boys. There's a little tip, guys. When you're picking up your stick, make sure you pick it up really slow. Any faster than that, you'll spook the crowd at and you won't be able to get it. Oh, this one is tight. You can feel what I feel. This line feels heavy, like a rock. Uh, most likely, at least 10 to 15. Oh, if not, oh, a couple got away. A couple got away. Look at that hole. Oh, oh I, I just dropped a big one. I just dropped a big one. Look at this one hole. See this? That's one hole right here. Look at that. You know, that was, that was one haul. All right, this is the jackpot hole. This is the honey hole here. This spot, I would usually get 20 to 30 when I started, but hopefully I catch it on camera for you guys. Oh yeah, she, she's heavy. She's really heavy. Oh, they're pulling away. Some of them are pulling away. I can feel it. There's a lot on here. I like to pull it nice and slow, gently, so don't spook them. Have my net ready. And as soon as I can see the tip of that, that bait, I wanna come down my net and bang, look at this. Look at this haul. Look at this haul. I see this hole. That's one hole. At least about like 10, almost 15. It's a pretty good hole there. I don't know if you can see it from here, but we're talking about these guys, these size. They, this is a female. How you could tell is a female from a male? Okay. Most females has big body with small claws. That's, that's usually indicate the females. Of course, you can tell from down here where my finger is pointing. But if you get a male, I'll show you a male. This is a male. You see a male? Small body, but look at this claw. The male is always the one with the bigger claw, small body. Female is always smaller claw, big body. 
That's how you can tell the difference between these crawdads in California. Back and forth, repeat the process. Let's just keep repeating the process. Some spot, you don't have much, some spot is a lot. Oh, that's a good haul. That's a good haul right there. Pretty good haul. You guys see this? That's a good haul right there. Two. Haul number two. She feels tight, but it might be a branch. She feels tight. Oh, she's not a oh, a big one got away. Jeez, big one that got away. A pretty big one. Oh, look at that. It's a nice haul. This guy. Look at that guy. Like that. Oh, look at me. Look at that. Look at this. That's a meal. These are meal. Big claw meal. That's yes, sir. Ah. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like. We got fishing contact coming. Striper, bluegill. I don't know if it's a stick, but this one feel heavy. Oh, it might be a lot of crud out in there. That's why. That's why. There's a lot of crud out in there, you go. That's why. So it felt heavy. A big one on there. Let's go help this one out over here. I just barely picked this up earlier. No, I'm falling. All right. This one has a little bit of bait left. This one, this is like the best hauling stick. Hauls the most crowd out every bait. So there's like a quarter bait left. Oh, oh she's tugging. But she's still hanging on. With a little bait, she still produce at least seven to eight, maybe ten. Ooh. Maybe ten. Oh yeah, about ten. Saw that bait I had on there? Yep. That was like little bait. Let's get in these size. Big guys. Big crawdad. Oh, when they smell the bait, they will come and play. When they smell the bait and they got away. When they smell the bait. This right here. This one. Oh. I don't want to fall because like I'm off the ledge here. One mistake and I'm in that water swimming with the crayfish. Yeah, I don't want that happening. No. Oh, I can't reach. Stick too far. Stick too far. Stick too far for me. Oh my god, they're big. V boy can't get it. Fine, you can do it. The stick is too far. It was too long. Look how big that one is. Oh. Show, let's show him that big one. Oh, shit. Oh. That's a mammoth, huh? Look at this bag, mammoth. Mm. This one got a lot. And this one should have a lot. Oh yeah. Either the stick is heavy or the crawfish got weight on it. Probably a slow ass crawfish. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my Ooh. god, Vivo. Look at one haul. Oh the monsters. Shoo. Shoo. These are big ones too. These are the extra large. These are, okay, hold on. One of my viewers said, in Louisiana, they call these select crawfish. So meaning, probably, I'm, I'm assuming selecting as a selecting one by one, you'll find, or maybe one out of 10, select, so. Oh my God, Vivo. Oh my Ooh. God. Jeez, that's a little bait too. Look at that. That was one haul. 
At this rate, guys, we'll see you at home. <laughs> Big haul, guys. Look at this. Look at this mammoth. Ooh. Look at this. I don't know if y'all can see that. Holy moly. Off of this little bait. Look at this. Look at this. Look what it produced. Ooh, baby lobsters. Sheesh. Ooh. All action, baby. That's All action. Bait. All action. Let's go. Up to the next one. All that in just a couple minutes. This part, this is where I need a little help in there. Because, right. Oh my gosh, this feels really tight. Oh, it popped me. Oh, got tight again. Oh, it's still there. Oh, oh, it's heavy. Oh, she's heavy, Vivo. Oh, oh, look at this, Vivo. You see this? Yeah. Are you seeing <laughs> I get overexcited sometimes. Well, actually, all the time. Because I love doing these stuff. It makes me happy. I'm out here relaxing. We got to go dump the bucket. All right. we're, we're loading on the bucket right now. We'll dump it after this, this pull up. Okay. Too. You feel heavy too. It's like they're, they're so hungry, they don't let go, you know that? Can you just go? The struggles of crawfish. Mammoth in here, look. Oh. Wait, look at my hand. Look at this guy. Oh, damn. Get a picture of that one. Look at this mammoth. Recent update. We are done for the day, guys. It's like 12 o'clock. Did a real good haul. Big feast today. Catch you guys on the next episode, hopefully. This might be the last run for crawfish. So if you're seeing this, this might be it. Catch you guys on the fishing adventure. We're going to be going in the future. So like I said, make sure you hit subscribe. Thank you once again for tuning in. Hit that like, comment. See you guys on the next one. Shoo! And just like that, guys, the day is over. You're going to see some photos, a picture of what we did that day. And our day's catch and the ending of this video. Thanks again. Make sure you hit that subscribe for future content. See you guys on the next trip. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe. Show me some love, guys. Give me to a thousand subscriber. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you on my next one. Stay tuned. Later, guys. That one, I didn't bring it.